So what do you do when it's too cold to paint in the winter time? Well, you get one of those and then you, uh, you heat up your spray paint that way. Well, you put air in the gas tank. Yeah. shocks 90 pounds of air and it didn't come up I mean it came up a little ah eh, what do you want this is a classic bar taxi the whole time that this car has ever been on the road that's pretty much the only purpose this car has served is being a bar taxi Now she coming up. Take it to 120, man. Yeah, it's all leaky because everything under the hood is just covered in oil. I mean everything So anyway, he blew that up a long time ago, and it's been sitting in a field since So he bought a blown up Riviera engine He bought look at the oil coming out of the insulation <laughs> Look at his hands. He's been touching it three times. Just touching it. It's got a, <laughs> This whole thing's an oil bath but anyway, two years ago, you may or may not have seen a video I made on us disassembling a 430 Buick engine. That came out of a 67 Riviera that he bought. He didn't buy the car, he just bought the motor. And then uh, he took that to the machine shop and well now he's got that back and it's time to get this bar taxi back on the road because frankly the Subaru wagon ain't cutting it. So here we are heating up our spray paint with the torpedo heater. And here's his 430 with that minty tape job. Fucking make fun of him in the comments. But anyway, minty fresh. So we're gonna paint this thing today, and um, we're not using these valve covers. We're just using these to keep paint out of the engine. But everything else is clean-ish, kind of. Okay, so I haven't filmed us paint the motor yet because we're still heating this dump. But just look at this thing and tell me this isn't a direct descendant of Ricky Shipmobile, New Yorker from Sherlock Park Boys. I swear to God, look, we should just rip the passenger door off right now. <laughs> just take it and rip it off the car. <laughs> it looks just like Ricky's car. Boys, is it the new ship mobile or what? I know a song that gets on everybody's nerves. Everybody's nerves, yes, on everybody's nerves. I know a song that gets on everybody's nerves. And this is how it goes. I know a song that gets on everybody's nerves. Everybody's nerves, yes, on everybody's nerves. I know a song that gets on everybody's nerves. And this is So as you can see, we're just going to hose this thing down because we want it to last. Uh, cap. 
I just spray painted the camera real quick. Oh, we'll start with the intake. I'll start with the block. You can come back here. This is brake cleaned off, right? Yeah, I ran through the, their parts washer. You got some shit lighting back here. Ground cable still on here, are you serious? Let's just fucking paint it. You're not gonna see that shit anyways. You think I'm done? I'm painting it. It's getting red, isn't it? It's good red. Hope it doesn't turn Kubota orange. Yeah. Yeah, you guys see my dad's 455 in the wagon. That shit turned out to be like a snowblower or a Kubota orange. That shit was ugly as fuck. And then, everybody in the comments, Ooh, why'd you paint an Oldsmobile engine Chevy 350? I'm like, hey, I didn't. It just happened that way. Blame the fucking paint can. It said bright red, it didn't say orange. Tractor orange. I really can't see what I'm doing back here. Oh man, this is a bad idea. I didn't eat anything today. I just woke up. It's dark outside. Uh, I took a shower and a shit. <clears throat> I mean, you gotta do that before you do anything. But I didn't eat anything and here I am drinking and uh, smelling these minty paint fumes and uh, torpedo heater. Just to tease your drinks, paint fumes is your food. Just uh, know how they say that Jesus killed himself to pay for your sins. I'm dying merely for your entertainment dollar. Oh yeah, would you just look at that trash can? Now that's living life right there. Slumped in a lawn chair, sipping a beer with a cigarette in your hand in front of the wood stove. While we're dual actionly heating a garage with a wood stove. <laughs> and a torpedo John. It's kind of like having stereo for your uh, your radio. We got stereo heaters going. We got hot over here on this side and hot over there. You know, some people might say this isn't good for your brain, huffing all this paint. It's uh, they're pretty nasty VOCs, but VOC just stands for volatile organic compound. And don't panic. It's organic. Oh, she's dead. Explodes. I tried. Let's throw it in the wood stove. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> All right, 200 likes and we put the paint can in the wood stove. <laughs> Blow the top off this barn. Look, I got that. You know what? We should have left the red trash Camaro in here because all this red overspray in the air, I could have a brand car? new paint job on that car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit, you better be paying me for the can. I could have got that secondary paint, man. You never hear those whiny cunts going on about secondhand smoke. I can tell you right now for a fact it's a myth and I can prove it. If secondhand smoke is such a big deal, how come nobody's addicted to it? <laughs> have you ever heard of anybody getting off of a really stressful day at work and they just gotta run into an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting and take like three deep breaths of secondhand smoke to get their fix? No. Me either. You know why? Because that shit's a fucking myth. Unless you're hot boxing a cart and a cigarettes in a station wagon with the windows up and your three year old strapped in a car seat in the back. Secondhand smoke ain't a thing. Especially when you're out in public. Like right. in the open air. Oh my god, you're polluting the air. I can't even breathe. <laughs> outside fucking Walmart or wherever that was. You ever stand outside the grocery store or Walmart and you get that old nasty lady that comes up doing that. And she's like, she's like 90 something. Yeah. It's like she's going to live any longer. <laughs> you know what you tell her? You go, sheesh, you're lucky you don't smoke. That's a hell of a cough. I've got kids around. Yeah, tell them to smoke, man. Don't get laid. Quote of the year, tell them to smoke, they'll get laid. Funniest story, this is a true story by the way. Uh, when I was a little kid, I wasn't that little, I was probably like 11 or some shit like that. But anyway, we were walking into a grocery store, my dad was smoking a cigarette outside on his way up to the door. And, I, this is a long time ago, there's, I think there's like two kids and a parent, like a mother or some shit. And the kid goes, mommy, why do people smoke? And my dad without, The kid goes, Mommy, why do people smoke? And without skipping a beat, my dad turns around and goes, because it makes you look cool. 
The mother looked mortified. <laughs> Funny as shit ever. <laughs> Let there be light. Hey, I can see what I'm doing now. Make sure you get the crank real good so that the uh, flywheel's on balance. Whenever I put the bolts on. Hey, it's a Buick, it's gonna blow up anyway. Oh, the camera just looked like a cloud overlapping the whole <laughs> engine from both sides. I'm gonna have to steel wool the camera lens, folks. <laughs> if it'll let you. And then unless you no, scratch the plastic. I gotta say, unless you scratch, joke. scratch the lens. Yeah, don't do that. Don't listen to me. If you guys steal all your camera lens and take that shit in for warranty, I did not tell you to do that shit. All right. We're losing a little bit of heat. We gotta air the place out so we don't die for your sins a little too extra fast. Uh, I mean, she looks good on camera. I'll tell you that. If you're gonna take pictures of this thing and post it on Craigslist, it would definitely sell. But in person, that's another story. There's all kinds of dark cast iron spots, and uh, yeah, it's definitely not done. We've only gone through uh, one can and like maybe an eighth of the next can, so. Buick Big Blocks are the lightest engines they ever made, according to everybody. It's so light that you need a 20 foot pry bar to rotate it. Is it like 550 or 620 or something? Mm -hmm. I think that old's a 620. This is like 550. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, speaking of the olds, look, I covered my motor. <laughs> I've got the only thing in the building without hey, the red overspray on it. I recommended covering it. No, I told you to cover the fucking I thing. No, I recommended covering <laughs> it. I said, instead of pushing the Buick engine, just to cover the old's motor up. He wasn't listening. I said, I'm covering my engine for sure. And then he's like, wait a minute, we should cover your engine. <laughs> No, I mentioned that shit well before you were even thinking. Well, let's just put it this way. My shit's covered. Nothing else in here is. Everything else is red. Look at the fucking car. <laughs> Dude, it looks brown because it's red's on top of the black. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, we got the motor done. And it's shiny. Look at that. Got all those cracks and crevices. Oh, wee! And look at that. The car is only slightly red. <laughs> so that took a, an entire two and a quarter cans of paint. And it's done. And that Riley's car's all fucked up, but he ain't crying because he wants to repaint it anyway. And we were smart enough to cover the windshield because that is the only part of the car you can't steal wool. You can run steel wool over the windows, over tempered glass, over the door handles. Uh, we still should have pushed it out anyway, but he didn't want to. Yeah, it looks like shit anyways. But at least there's no overspray in the windshield. Look. <laughs> it's actually the primer. The primer is coming through on the top of the fender where because I rubbed the rust out. Mint. Yeah, so looked, yeah. This car looked nice like two years ago. Two. What would, would have been two and a half years ago? This car looked like fucking minty. Minty, bud. Look. Never said what we do is good, but we're good at what we do. So. We covered the windshield, there's no overspray on that. And uh, the rest of the car's mint. And look at that, you got a fresh motor and open that hood. And in a couple days, that's coming out. And according to Riley, he wants to pull that motor out on our live stream we're doing on Saturday. Today is a weekday. Today's a weekday, and 17th. it's not the weekend. Tuesday the 17th. Who gives a shit what day it is? It's not Saturday. But on Saturday, we're doing a live stream, so you better be here to watch this shit. He wants to pull that hunk of shit out of there to put that hunk of shit in there, so. But that's a shinier, redder, gooder piece of shit to go into its place, so. Well, if you ask me. Probably spend Thursday, Friday, pulling everything off of it. Saturday, get it set up to full. So be here on Saturday, or don't. 
it doesn't really matter to me because my channel doesn't I don't do this for money and the channel don't pay me money I mean, you do it for a dollar 87 every month I do it for about a dollar 87 a month so that being said if I do this for nine months I could buy a pack of cigarettes so yeah just be here on Saturday we're doing a live stream we're pulling the ship box out of the ship box and uh that's gonna go in so I'm not promising, not promising. That's not going in on the live stream. It's just this is coming out, so. Rolling. Hey, look. <laughs> Luckily for him, there was so much dirt on the car. He just wiped the overspray off. Look at that red disappear. 